Hello and welcome to the first Stream 101 SAM Broadcaster tutorial. In this tutorial what we're going to do is show you how to connect um, SAM Broadcaster with our services, um, specifically our Shoutcast streaming service. So as you can see I already have SAM Broadcaster open. What I'm going to do is navigate to desktop B. Now uh, this is assuming that your encoder's window is at desktop B. If you don't see it on any three of your desktops up here, go to Window and go down to encoders. Um, see how I checked it? It disappeared. So when you do check it, it should have a checkbox there. Um, that means it's going to be showed up for you. Uh, what you're going to do, go ahead and hit the plus button. This will bring up a, a plugin window. What I always recommend is that you check plugin with the lame encoders. MP3 Pro is great. Um, it'll work just as well, um, but you will need to have a much more powerful computer than you would if you just use the mp3. Sound quality is no difference, um, so I recommend this one. Uh, go ahead and click OK. This will bring you uh, another window up here. I always recommend changing these to one second. Basically what this means is if for some reason your SAM broadcaster loses connection with our server, it's going to try to connect again every one second. Uh, next setting, we're going to pick our bit rate. Um, so this depends on what you purchased we purchased a 128k stream for this example so that's what we're gonna pick if you happen to purchase a, a 64k and you pick a 128k what's gonna happen is your stream will be suspended um, so what we do is pick 128k because that's what we purchased we'll go over to server details now for all stream 101 services we have shoutcast version 1 so you will wanna check the box that says v1 uh, a couple bits of information you're going to need now are the server IP address, the server port number, and the password. Uh, so we'll go over to the Stream 101 Media Control Panel. We'll see um, that the server status is offline. Well, that's because we haven't started our server yet. Um, you'll need to do this the first time before you can connect. So you go ahead and click Start Server. Now Stream has started successfully. Source is not connected. The source is our SAM broadcaster. Okay. Um, so, to get the information that we need, like I said, we needed the server IP, the server port number, and the password. So we'll go over to Quick Links. Now, Live Source Connections is right here. Enter this information into the Live Source software to perform a live broadcast. Um, server host name. Now, we're going to want to enter this, so we'll copy and paste it right into SAM Broadcaster. Now we'll go back server port number all right we'll copy and paste the server port right into sam broadcaster now this password that it's asking about is actually the source password and you won't find it anywhere on here so what you'll have to do is go to configure server by default the source password is set automatically to whatever the uh, password is that you logged in to the media control panel if you want to change it it, you can but after you change it you must restart the server or the new password will not take effect okay so we have all the information we need let me type the correct password here okay next step is to fill out the station details we're gonna call this station the stream 101 demo all right if you leave the genre at various shoutcast will not list your station very well so we're gonna go ahead and pick country uh, website URL, make sure you change this to your website, our website stream101.com. If you do not have AIM, ICQ, or IRC, I just recommend uh, erasing it. List on public station means it's going to be listed on shoutcast.com as well as a bunch of different, um, different listing stations, uh, listing websites that have um, internet radio stations. If you don't want it listed, go ahead and uncheck it but I recommend checking it uh, get you more exposure we'll go ahead and click OK and because we first set up uh, this station to auto connect every one second it automatically started which you can see by how it's encoding now it's not encoding anything because we haven't actually started streaming so we'll go back to desktop A here and we'll hit the play now uh, audio is playing I'm gonna go ahead and mute that here so I can continue talking um, we'll go back. We'll see that this encoder here, um, you can see the little uh, volume meter is moving. We'll go to the uh, media control panel 
overview again. Now we'll see that the track that's playing, Alan Jackson chasing that neon rainbow. Source is connected, and you're all set streaming.